ever pondered on the chilling prospect of facing the infinite void of space without the safety of your suit? Let's embark on a journey, a contemplation that will take us into the heart of the cosmos, where the grandeur of the universe intertwines with the stark realities of survival. Out there, in the farthest reaches of space, the rules are different. The comforting embrace of our home planet is replaced by an environment so hostile, so alien, that it defies our basic understanding of life. In this vast expanse, the astronaut suit becomes more than just a piece of equipment. It is a lifeline, a shield and a home, all rolled into one. Space in all its stunning beauty is a realm of extremes. It's a place where temperatures can swing wildly from blistering heat to freezing cold in a matter of moments. It's a domain where the vacuum is so absolute that it can rip the very air from your lungs. It's a sphere where radiation dances freely, unimpeded by the protective blanket of a planet's atmosphere. And yet, despite these dangers, the allure of the cosmos is irresistible. The twinkling stars, the swirling galaxies, the silent majesty of the planets, all beckon us to venture forth, to explore, to understand. They whisper to our collective curiosity, igniting our desire to push the boundaries of the known, to seek out the unknown. But what if, in this quest for knowledge, the unthinkable happens? What if the safety of the astronaut suit is stripped away, leaving a human being exposed to the merciless elements of space? This is no mere academic quandary. It's a question that probes the very limits of human resilience. A question that forces us to confront the brutal realities of survival in an environment that was never meant to sustain life. Now imagine if an astronaut was stranded in space without a suit. What happens next? As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll unravel the mysteries and uncover the answers, one chilling fact at a time. Picture this, an astronaut stranded in the vast expanse of space without a suit. Imagine being thousands of miles from the nearest semblance of life, surrounded by nothing but the silent void. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Now, let's add a twist to this tale. Imagine our astronaut was outside their spaceship, performing a routine spacewalk when an accident occurs. A sudden jerk, a broken tether, and just like that, they are adrift, disconnected from their spaceship, and worst of all, without a suit. Our astronaut is now in uncharted territory, facing the merciless vacuum of space in nothing but their standard-issue clothing. Their heart pounds in their chest, echoing the only sound in the otherwise silent void. Their breath comes out in ragged gasps, quickly fogging up the inside of their helmet. But there's no time for panic. Survival instincts kick in. The astronaut knows that in space, without a suit, the human body is exposed to extreme conditions. The lack of pressure, the intense radiation, the extreme temperatures, all these factors turn space into a deadly environment. But let's not forget, our astronaut is a professional, trained for emergencies. They know that the first 15 seconds are crucial. That's the small window they have before the oxygen in their body is used up. They must act quickly, using their training to try and propel themselves back towards the spaceship. As the seconds tick by, our astronaut fights against the odds, their movements slow and deliberate in the zero gravity. Every breath is a struggle, every heartbeat a countdown. They're in a race against time, their life hanging in the balance. The question is, how long could our astronaut survive in this horrifying scenario? The answer to that question is complex and depends on a multitude of factors. In the next scenes, we'll delve into the science behind survival in space without a suit, exploring the harsh realities our astronaut would face. Hold on to your seats, folks. This journey is about to get intense. Space, as magnificent as it is, is a vacuum, an environment harsh and unforgiving. This statement might seem chilling, but it's a stark reality that we must face when we venture beyond the protective envelope of our Earth's atmosphere. Think of space as a vast ocean, but instead of water, it's filled with nothingness. Not a single molecule of air, no gusts of wind, and no comforting warmth from the sunlight. This is the vacuum of space, a void that's as cold and indifferent as it is vast. Here's a sobering thought. The human body is not designed for such an environment. The moment an unprotected human is exposed to this void, several immediate effects kick in. The first and most obvious is the lack of oxygen. Without a constant supply of this vital gas, our cells begin to die within minutes, leading to unconsciousness and eventually death. But the lack of oxygen is just the tip of the iceberg. In the vacuum of space, there's no air to carry heat away from the body. This means that any heat generated by your body has nowhere to go and will build up. 
causing hyperthermia. On the flip side, any part of your body not directly facing the sun could freeze due to the extreme cold. This extreme variation in temperature combined with the lack of oxygen would put immense pressure on the human body. The fluids in your body would start to boil at normal body temperature due to the low pressure. This is a phenomenon known as ebullism and it's as terrifying as it sounds. Let's not forget the silent killer, radiation. Without the Earth's magnetic field to shield you, harmful cosmic rays would bombard your body, causing severe damage at a cellular level. In such conditions, survival time is measured in seconds, not minutes. It's a sobering thought, but it underscores the importance of the technology we've developed to survive in such a ruthless environment. And it's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless drive to explore the unknown. Space is a realm of extremes where icy cold and scorching heat exist side by side. The temperature in space isn't like what we experience here on Earth. It's a dance of heat and cold, a ballet of extremes that would leave an unprotected human body in a state of shock. Let's imagine the scenario of an astronaut unprotected and floating in the void. When exposed to the sun's unfiltered rays, the temperature can skyrocket to a blistering 250 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than a commercial kitchen oven at full blast. It's a searing heat that would cook our astronaut from the inside out, causing severe, if not fatal, burns. But let's not forget about the cold. Oh, the cold. In the shadow of a planet or an asteroid away from the sun's warming rays, the temperature can plunge to a frigid negative 250 degrees Fahrenheit. That's colder than the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth. In such conditions, our astronaut's body heat would be rapidly lost to the surrounding vacuum. Hypothermia would set in, followed by freezing. Now you may be wondering, why such a vast difference in temperature? Well, in space, there's no atmosphere to regulate temperature, no air to carry heat away or bring warmth. It's a place of extremes, and these extremes are only a few feet apart. One moment, you could be roasting, the next, freezing. Imagine the strain on the human body having to constantly adapt to these wild swings in temperature. The body's natural mechanisms for maintaining a stable internal temperature would be overwhelmed. Organs would begin to fail. Cells would start to break down. It's a grim picture, isn't it? That's why spacesuits are so vital. They're not just fancy outfits. They're life-saving devices designed to protect astronauts from the harsh realities of space. They regulate temperature, keeping the body at a comfortable and safe level, no matter the external conditions. Without a suit, our astronaut is at the mercy of these temperature extremes. Alone, unprotected, and facing the unforgiving dance of heat and cold. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? But it's a reality of space, a testament to its harsh, brutal beauty. But temperature is just one part of the story. Let's not forget about radiation and micrometeoroids. Now, let's delve into another peril of the cosmos. Radiation. In space, there's no atmosphere to shield us from cosmic radiation. These energetic particles originating from the sun and beyond our galaxy travel at nearly the speed of light. They can penetrate deep into the human body, damaging cells and DNA. Over time, this can lead to serious health issues like cancer and acute radiation sickness. In addition to cosmic radiation, there's solar radiation to consider. The sun, a colossal nuclear fusion reactor, constantly spews out a stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. During periods of intense solar activity, it can unleash a barrage of high-energy particles in a phenomenon called a solar flare. If you were caught in the path of a solar flare without any protection, the radiation dosage could be lethal within hours. But wait, there's more. Micrometeoroids, tiny space rocks hurtling through space at incredible speeds, pose another threat. Though small, these micrometeoroids have the potential to cause significant damage due to their high velocity. Picture this, getting hit by a grain of sand traveling at over 10 times the speed of a bullet. Without a suit, there's nothing to shield you from these high-speed impacts. Now imagine facing all these dangers simultaneously. Cosmic and solar radiation constantly bombarding your body, coupled with the risk of micrometeoroid impacts. It's a stark reminder of how hostile space can be to humans. It's also worth noting that these threats aren't just hypothetical. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station are subjected to about a hundred times the radiation levels we experience on Earth. And they regularly have to shelter from potential solar flares. 
As for micrometeoroids, the station is pockmarked with tiny impact craters, a testament to the barrage it faces daily. The dangers of space are many, and without a suit, they are fatal. So, how long could our astronauts survive in the face of these gruesome reality? In the void of space, stripped of the protection of a suit, the human body faces a relentless onslaught. The vacuum of space, the extreme temperatures, radiation, and the threat of micrometeoroids all conspire against survival. The vacuum itself is an immediate peril. Without air pressure to keep our bodily fluids in check, they'd begin to boil at normal body temperature. Yet, contrary to popular belief, we wouldn't explode or instantly perish. The human body is resilient and this process would take a little time. Temperature swings in space are extreme, ranging from scorching heat to chilling cold, depending on whether you're in direct sunlight or shadow. Without a suit, our astronaut would endure these harsh conditions. But again, instant freezing or burning up is more science fiction than fact. Radiation is a silent, invisible killer. In space, without the Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere shielding us, we're exposed to lethal doses of cosmic rays. Over time, these can cause serious illness, but in the short term, they might not be our biggest concern. Micrometeoroids, tiny space rocks hurtling at incredible speeds, are an ever-present danger. A direct hit could be catastrophic, but the odds are relatively low. So, taking it all into account, how long could we survive? The answer, not long, but perhaps longer than you'd think. Consciousness would likely be lost within 15 seconds due to lack of oxygen. Beyond that, survival for about 1 to 2 minutes might be possible before the effects of the vacuum and temperature extremes take their toll. It's a grim reality, but a fascinating one, reminding us of the sheer power and mystery of the universe. Despite the dangers, humans continue to push the boundaries, exploring the uncharted territories of space. It's not just a testament to our tenacity and curiosity, but it's also a reflection of our relentless pursuit of knowledge. We have an innate desire to understand the world around us, and space is the final frontier in that quest. Space exploration is not just about surviving the harsh conditions, it's about thriving, about expanding our horizons, and about making unimaginable discoveries. Our journeys into space have provided us with invaluable insights into our own planet and its place in the cosmos. From understanding the origins of our universe to the discovery of water on Mars, each expedition has been a stepping stone leading us to greater knowledge and deeper understanding. Technology plays a pivotal role in this journey. It's the armor that shields astronauts from the unforgiving conditions of space, and it's the vessel that transports them into the unknown. Each advancement in technology brings us one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Consider the spacesuits that protect astronauts from the harsh environment of space. These marvels of engineering are designed to withstand extreme temperatures, radiation and the vacuum of space. They provide life-supporting oxygen, regulate body temperature and even shield from micrometeoroids. Or consider spacecraft designed to endure the tremendous forces of launch and re-entry, to navigate the vastness of space and to support human life in an environment that is inherently lifeless. The evolution of spacecraft from the early days of the space shuttle to the modern marvels of reusable rockets reflects our increasing capability to explore further and deeper into space. Space exploration is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. It's a journey fraught with danger, but also filled with opportunity. It pushes us to our limits, challenges our understanding, and expands our perspective. The vastness of space is a constant reminder of our place in the universe and the endless possibilities that lie beyond our planet. It's a call to explore, to learn, and to discover. It's a reminder that we are but a small part of a vast and wondrous universe, and there's so much more out there waiting to be discovered. So we return to our original question. How long could you survive in space without a suit? We've journeyed through the chilling void, felt the unforgiving vacuum, and braved the extremes of cold and heat. We've explored the invisible dangers of radiation and the silent threat of micrometeoroids. And we've felt the heart-stopping final moments of a hypothetical, unsuited encounter with the cosmos. The reality is, space is harsh, unyielding, and unapologetically lethal. It's an environment where human beings, without the aid of technology, are woefully ill-equipped to survive. 
This emphasizes the importance of astronaut suits, our life-preserving armor against the hostile expanse of the universe. It's a stark reminder of just how precious life is and how fragile we are in the grand cosmic scheme. While we hope no one ever has to find out, it's crucial to understand the extreme conditions of space as we continue our journey towards the stars.